Be petrol 062 in the garden. <laughs> Did I ever show you what a tomato worm looks like? They wipe out your tomato plants. They take what they do. When you see a branch with all the leaves stripped off, they'll eat the whole branch off. They'll eat a big branch. You know there's one in here. Here he is. He'll eat your whole branch off. These things are big. Oop, I dropped him. He let go. That's a tomato worm. Sometimes called a horn worm. And boy, do they eat a lot. So when you come into your tomato plants and you see the, the branches all stripped off, start looking for them. Uh, this is probably the only one because if there's more, there'll be different places. I've already, I've already picked seven of them off one year. It was a real wet year. It's cool. They like the cool weather. But I don't see any more. So, anyway, there it is. It's called a horn worm. I don't think it bites you. The, the horn's on the tail. <laughs> That's the head right there. I don't know if his focus is in that close. I'll, I'll back up a little bit at a time. And hopefully you'll be able to see it. Uh... Anyway, if there's white, little, little white uh, uh, cocoons all over it, then there's a wasp, a good wasp. I forgot what it's called, tritrogramma or something. It's a wasp and it lays its larva eggs on there. And what it does is they, they suck the juice out of this guy until the uh, larvae get big and then they uh, get big and fly away and they suck the juice out of this guy and they kill him. So the eggs, if you see it with the white things all over it, what you do is you take it off of here and you take it way back 50 yards away and let it go again. Put it back in the woods and let it go. And that will cause the the uh, uh, the, the larva to survive, and he'll be dried up in a couple of days. They'll take all the, ju the juice out of him and dry him up. So anyway, I don't see any more. But uh, I don't have many tomatoes this year. Really bad. Had a lot of it was it was dry. It was really a dry year. And I didn't, I didn't run my hose all the way down. There's 150 foot of hose. So what I'm gonna do with this guy, it means he don't have any larva on him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put him out of his misery on that, on that piece of plywood. Ready? Splat. He squashed. He looked like a bug in a windshield. So, anyway. If he had the larva on him, I would have taken him way over someplace by my pond over there or something or somewhere in the woods and let him go, put him in a safe place where he won't get run over by the lawnmower, and then go ahead and let him get chewed up by the larva. Anyway, I got a couple of green tomatoes in there, but I noticed the uh, worm. So anyway, today is... Uh, this is what time of the year they are, September. Today's September 11th. Uh, and I got a lot of work to do. I got to grind that up, cut it up, mulch it, whatever I can do to it. Whatever I can do to it. I don't burn anything because it makes good mulch and it makes your grass grow and your lawn grow. I mean your garden grow and everything. Uh, anyway... Hey, I'll show you something real quick before I go. Real quick. Look at my, uh, these are my, uh, to my, uh, onions. My, uh, uh, walking onions or Egyptian onions or whatever. They 
are really good right now. This is August, yeah, September 11th. And I just peeled them off. I cut them down to about six inches. Anything that plastic, that's all I got that for is to keep the weeds from growing. I, have, I, I don't have time to weed everything, you know. But that's a, I might put a, that's a better picture there on my other one where I showed them short. Anyway, anyway, it's time for me to run. I put this video together, get it on, and uh, they showed you my, my worm, my, my worm. It'd be channel, me and you and channel 62, okay?